In this clip, we are going to create a basic business partner master data synchronization scenario between two company databases. Let's create this new scenario step. Let's call it Sync BP. And as a first step, we are going to add the inbound. And the inbound definition, we will select the business one even type. The business object is business partner master data, and there is no data retrieval. Now let's put there the final, the ending, and uh, finalize the flow. Once it is done, then we can add the branching, the branching start and the branching end. And then comes the first interaction with the service layer. We are getting the source and from the source system, we will retrieve the data of the business object master data, what had been changed in the source system or uh, source system is UK 00 and we are using the get object for the business partner master data object. As a key value, we will use the expat and uh, expat needs to be selected. Once it is done, then we are uh, changing the flow and we will execute it uh, only if there is no delete event. Afterwards, we can copy out from the call uh, the required information using the transformation. We will define the transformation file name, it's an XSL file, and we can modify the XSLT structure. Uh, here you can see the business partner under the, between the business partner element and the required objects. Once it is done, then we can add the new service layer call. Now we will contact the target system and we will check whether the business partner master data exists there or not. We will select the UK01 and the same operation will be paired from there for as a get object and we will again use the key value as an XPAT because we will copy it from the previous transformation. Let's have a pretty print and now we can add the new transformation. Let's define the name for the transformation. And after that, we can edit the source. Here we will uh, prepare the structure in order to accept on the service layer side as well. Once it is done, then we can add the final call. And this will change the data on the target system side. And it will execute the update and the add operation. Again, the service layer object call needs to be selected as an adapter for the target system. And now the method should be as XPAT and we will copy it from the previous transformation. The object identifier would be the same. It means it will be the business partner master data. And for a key value, we will again use the XPAT from the previous transformation. Let's have a pretty print. And now we will continue with the new business service layer call and we will delete the target object. The service layer would be used as an adapter for the target system UK01. And now we will use the method delete and the object identifier is the same business partner master data and the key value similarly like we did it for getting from the source. We will use the same key value as an XPAT. Now it's time to finalize the flow. We are moving from, un from branch to unbranch. And we will need to define when this delete operation needs to be executed, only if it is a delete event. Pretty print, small mistake, let's correct it. And now it should be fine. Let's save it. And we can now move to the deployment panel where we will create a new deployment. Let's call it similarly. Let's have it sync BP. And now it's time to select the scenario step. Let's activate the detail logging. And because something is missing, the SLD entry needs to be assigned in the system section. We are selecting the UK 00 as a sender system 
and we can activate the deployment. Let's create a new business partner master data entry. And in the monitoring section, we should be able to see what happened here. And in the target system in the UK01, you can see the created business partner entry.